Former Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony has taken exception to statements made by Leader of the Opposition Alan Chastney during the March 7, 2023 sitting of the House. Chastney, who was absent at the March 14th proceedings, was raked over the coals by the Viewfort South MP. Dr. Anthony took umbrage with Chastney invoking the former Ramsahoy Commission maladministration remarks regarding a previous SLP administration he helmed. During the March 14th debate on a health care motion, he pointed to what critics have characterized as the unprecedented constitutional conflicts of the 2016-2021 UWP regime. Dr. Anthony was even more scathing in his assessment of the management of public finances in that period. How is it that the member for Miku South can sit in this chamber, make a comment like that, knowing full well his own history and a history in a matter of five years. I don't think that the message emanating from Member of Castries Central has been understood, and some of it bears repetition. And I'm going to need the help of the members of the House as I go through those things. Because you see, you can't sit in a chair and brazenly accuse others when you yourself, when you yourself have an unenviable history and has engaged in the most reckless, the most abusive of, of, of behavior in public expenditure in this country in five years. The Viewfort South MP enumerated an exhaustive list of controversies critics say went way beyond the pale where governance is concerned. That includes the $7 million COVID-19 vaccine procurement deal, the Dyer Mall sale, and Lockerbie AstroTurf arrangement, and capital works that have taxpayers on the hook for hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, let's, let's, I want you all to help me because what you need to do for me, Mr. Speaker, I, I want us to, to, so far, let us do the addition. The COVID vaccine, $7 million, the Dyer Mall, 13 million, then of course the payment to, to range, and of course now we are dealing with the, the Lockerbie issue of 30 million to build those artificial turfs. The former prime minister also took public servants to task for what he says was their failure to uphold the constitution where these policy decisions were concerned. I've said to civil servants, your best protector is not your politician, not your minister, but the constitution of this country. That's where the protection is. That is why you have to remain neutral. And that is why you have a responsibility to the country when that kind of abuse of abuse takes place. But I wanted to talk about Rochamel. But Rochamel had a cabinet conclusion, though. They all saw the cabinet conclusion because it was circulated to them, so they knew full well what was in Rochamel, that there was no secret behind it. They knew full well. And you're going to pay $32 million but that's not even the whole story because the same thing, I'm sure the member for Castries Central, the member for Castries North would remember what occurred with the Black Bay lands in this country. Dr. Anthony is employing the current Minister for Finance, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, to publicize and shed more light on what he refers as the deeper and complex symptoms of a diseased malaise that has hamstrung the development of the island. What happened to the checks and balances that we created over the years that it could not stop that kind of abuse, that kind of recklessness in this country? Former Prime Minister Alan Chastney, who is not happy with the recent criticisms of the incumbent, he accuses of half-truths, especially on the Dyer Mall, told reporters last week that he is consulting his lawyers an implicit threat that civil litigation could be in the works. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.